Hello everyone and welcome back to our new video on our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go through, review, and analyze Miraculous's latest released episode, Season 5, Episode 17, Adoration, which focused on character development, but also added more proof of something that has been circulating around the show for a long time. The episode starts with a scene of Zoe and Andre on the rooftop of the hotel, where Andre is encouraging Zoe to confess her love to the unknown person, who guest knows throughout the episode. Apparently, this scene was more to reveal about Andre's past deal as his original name was Anaximander, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but yeah, it's gonna be on the screen, saying he changed his whole life just for Audrey's love, which is, yeah, a terrible choice. Like, out of all women in the world, he fell in love with her. We then transition into a scene at the school where Mr. Damocles announces that the school is finally ending and that they have to prepare for the end-of-the-year school dance. An 8th grader, Zoe Lee, chosen by her class, and a ninth grader, Marinette Dupain Chang, also chosen by her class, are meant to organize the event. Now, before we pass, as this scene wasn't much to talk about, if Mark was indeed an 8th grader all the time, how come is he with Marinette's class on multiple occasions? We proceed to a scene in Marinette's room, but Dobby is somehow shocked by how beautiful her room is, as if it's her first time there. Like, did we forget about season 4, episode 9, Gabriel Arrest? Wasn't Zoe there already? Anyway, room tour. But what caught my attention was the fact that Marinette said multiple times that she needed to tidy up her plans or gifts for Adrian. There's probably something that happened in migration, derision, or intuition that had Marinette kind of blowing up from these complicated plans, and this would also explain why she didn't know about the demon dance in... Season 5, Episode 18, Emotion. Now, Zoe and Marinette are on the top of Marinette's house, choosing where is the most romantic place for the dance, and they finally ended up choosing the Evil Tower, and they went to talk to the mayor. I like how this scene showed how different Zoe is, from being closer to the staff to standing up to Chloe. Zoe and Marinette talk to the mayor, who ironically is afraid of Chloe that she'll destroy everything, yet he agrees on the plan. We got a scene of the actress, and Gabriel finally isn't cooking pancakes, saying he wants to make his son's dreams come true. Yeah, true, before he disagrees on Marinette being his son's partner in the dance. Thanks to Nathalie, he changed his mind. Then, a scene of Lila confirming she has a plan to protect Adrian from Marinette. Then we get back to Zoe's room, where Zoe hides the picture of the person she loves as if it's not obvious yet. Lila and Chloe ask Sabrina to steal some stuff, and he disagrees, so she becomes an underling for Chloe, leading to her acclimatization to the Vanisher, alongside the dog's miraculous power which allowed her to steal anything without being noticed. I like how Sabrina, being Miss Hound, gets to the dog power, and uses in a unique, evil way. And now we're back to Zoe and Marinette, where they're talking about love and confessions. It's actually embarrassing, and it hurts. Marinette talks to Alia about Zoe's love, and that she wants to help her. But Marinette, this time, suspects Adrian to be her crush as if she's the only lovable character in the Miraculous Universe. Marinette and Zoe then go around to Paris, getting the stuff, and Vanisher follows them, yes, by walking, touching everything with a whistle. On the evil tower, Chloe accuses Marinette of stealing to which Marinette disagrees, but thanks to the help of the Vanisher, Chloe has a proof and she makes everyone disappointed in Marinette to the point where she nearly is expelled from her school. Zoe takes the accusations to herself as an act of love to Marinette, which is cute, but still what? Marinette notices Vanister and she transforms to Ladybug. I think this would be the shortest day acclimatization ever. Yes, from 1727 to 1935, literally two minutes. This is probably because the episode isn't focusing on the villains. Anyway, Chloe is revealed, but Lila's plan was so smart. Like, why? Nobody except Chloe knows that she made the plan. And now, the two major scenes. Marinette tells Zoe that Adrian would be flattered to know that she has a crush on him, to where she just says that it's not him and smiles. The seed has too much to say, the way a smile and eyes were only able to explain to Marinette everything, it's adorable. The hug, everything just shows how truly their friendship is even though it might be embarrassing to confess to your friend that you have a crush on her, and she encourages Marinette to confess to Adrian. Marinette finally wants to Adrian. She says that it's not as magical as she thought it's gonna be, which is right, I myself didn't expect it to be this way, it's simple, it's unique, it's cute, they're about to kiss, only to Gabriel to ruin it. This. If this isn't confirmation that Adrian is a senti being, then I don't even know what this is. The scene, the camera rotating, the music, everything makes me uncomfortable. Just the way Adrian felt after being controlled. Marinette knows something is wrong, she's confused, and it's the end of the episode. 
The episode didn't only mark a change in Andrinit's relationship and officially made them canon, explaining how their relationship is so normal in emotion, pretension, and revelation, and a change in Zoina's friendship, but it also added more proof to the senti being theory, which I don't think it's a theory anymore, especially after all the proof we had throughout the series. I'll make sure to make a video compiling all of these proofs together. The episode overall is entertaining, fun, and unique in its own way. I love it and I hope more episodes will be developed in such a mature way. Thank you for listening to my review. Please comment your thoughts on it, subscribe, like, share, and see you soon.